That one-of-a-kind New York home court advantage coming into the building earlier tonight. Welcome to another Groundhog Day NBA game. Shadows or not, it's time to get it going. Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kyle Lowry. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Well, this one's about to get going, but first, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, Jalen Brunson, a second-round pick out of Villanova, and his father carved out a nine-year journeyman career in the league as well. Jalen said, quote, how hard he worked just to get unguaranteed contracts showed me that I have to work 10 times harder. I thank him for letting me see that at a young age. Guys? Uh, family business. Allie, thanks. Well, Grant, you were a seven-time All-Star and the first rookie to lead NBA All-Star fan voting. You know, B.A., I'm still overwhelmed at that accomplishment. It surprised me. I mean, such a humbling experience. A chance to play alongside guys like Scotty and Shaq and Penny. I mean, it was so special. All right, now let's check out go. the starters for the Miami Heat. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Caleb Martin out there with Bam out of Bio. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. And for New York, at forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson is out there with Josh Hart. And it's Robinson in at the five spot. And he gets that one. Well, the paint can open up for Hero because he's such a good shooter. Smart to attack. He had a chance to do it there. Robinson, a screen on Lowry. From 12 feet, buries the jump shot. Mm -hmm. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Um, and setting the tempo with an assertive move, like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Barrett, coming off a 12-point game. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. And it's the Heat with the ball. Hero right side. Robinson with the block. Such good instincts from Robinson there to throw that one away. Lowry against Barrett. Randall a screen on Lowry. Here's Barrett. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Coming on Martin. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. That one misses. And specifically with R.J. Barrett, it feels like he's a lot older, Grant. You know, B.A., but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now, it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime. Still a lot of room to grow for him. And so it's New York with it, following the bucket by the Heat. Brunson misses. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Martin finds out a bio. Back to Martin. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Hero. He's covered by Hart. Six to shoot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You watch Tyler Hero night in, night out. He brings a fearlessness to the game. Some players walk the line between confidence and arrogance. What do you think about Hero, Brent? Well, I think the interesting stuff, B.A., was after a year of success and what happened in the bubble, there might have been some humbling times and humbling games for him that have put him back on the right track. And right now, he's playing with a ton of confidence that's helping out his teammates. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. The Knicks have gone one for three so far. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Brunson. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. Thank you. 
That free throw, no good. And Jalen Brunson, he's a great option on the floor, Grant. <laughs> yes, he is. Can attack from different levels of the floor, solid shooting threat from outside, and gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense. And he's good on the second. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. Hero with the bucket. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Here's Hart. There's the drive. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Adebayo. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. That's <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top three agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. Now here's Hero. Coming off a terrific game against Cleveland. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got three assists tonight. <laughs> I just love the ball boom. It's hard on the wing. And the Knicks miss again. The Heat have got five of seven shots to fall. Here's Martin. Robinson with the block. It's Barrett on the wing. And the three off target. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Adebayo passes to Martin. And again, Miami with a triple. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Now a timeout called by New York. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle big time. Yeah, the best way to make it hard on teams is continue your motion. And their motion on the perimeter just wasn't good enough. That ended up costing them. For your next Oladipo's checked in for Martin and a chance to see the latest edition of the power rankings always fun to see where everyone in the league stands taking a look at Boston they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five you know for Miami, they continue to look incredibly dangerous. The cohesion and teamwork they show on a nightly basis has a lot to do with that. Now here's Robinson. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Butler with the bucket. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Brunson passes to Randall. Back to Brunson to win the run. Sends it home from three-point land. Brunson's got six. Yeah, the man was wide open there. And Julius Randall understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. Lowry, the pass to Oladipo. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. New York has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Robinson. Outside for Randall. 4-3. Rebounded by Butler. The Heat have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Drives to the hoop. Oh, Robinson with a block. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Randall. Got it. Good job in the low post. The muscle and the intensity there from Randall showing off and he converts to contact. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Oh, I love the mindset to get at the rim right there. He knows they're down and wants to spark a comeback. Out to Oladipo. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist in this one. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And Brunson, here we go. Out of Bio with the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. So for the Knicks, Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Quickly comes in for Hart, and Rose is subbed in for Brunson. Randall finds Rose. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. 
So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Hero takes it up with both hands and rips it down. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Smart play from Rose, getting up close to the basket for a high percentage look. Miami calls timeout. Called for the Heat. All right, man, give it up right now. And the Knicks making a change here. Toppins checked in. And this gives us a chance to check in on the season's best three-point shooting teams. Number one, the Heat. Having the shooters they have, the best three-point shooting team in the league, it opens up the whole court by stretching the defense out. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. That's good from Butler. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. It's Hartenstein, high post. You're seven on him. Barrett can't hit. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Miami's gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. For three, Oladipo. New York has gone one of four from deep. Here's Rose. Rebounded by Butler. Butler's got four rebounds in the game. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Barrett hanging tough on that play. He gets the shot off, and he just stuck to the play. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. Well, I like that they've also emphasized the three-point line. Vincent drained a good number from beyond the arc this year. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. For three, Barrett. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It goes on Victor Oladipo. Three shots. Three shots. At the line, he'll shoot three. The first one falls. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. That one's no good. Yeah, and it's still early. But missing free throws is something to keep an eye on. And, Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. And here's Butler outside. The shot off that time. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Rose with the bucket. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And again, the heat missing. New York has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Quickly from outside. The shot comes out. Struess with a defensive effort. Now here's your seven. And so it's Miami. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back with you shortly. Your next city game. We 
welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Heat here, they've been putting on a show. But simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. On the court for Miami here in the second. We've got Omer at seven. Victor Oladipo is out there with Caleb Martin. Then it's Max Struess, and it's Vincent in at the point. Now here's Oladipo. Outside Struess. Back to Oladipo. Pass to Struess. Let's it go from deep. Martin misses. And the Knicks shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. And Hart with a basket. On the assist by Quickly. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. The Heat with the lead. On the wing, Struess. He's covered by Hart. Benson can't hit. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Ali, for sure. Thanks for that. Now here's Hart. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Barrett against Oladipo. Puts up the eight-footer. Rebound by the Heat. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D. But that never materialized, so they took advantage. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. Now here's Hart. Quickly outside. It's rebounded by your seven. Miami has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Launches it. It's tipped. Quickly outside. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And they get it back. Robinson passes to Barrett. The next rebound. Quickly finds Hart. And another shot. And he gets the jumper to drop. Hart's got six here in the quarter. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Here's Martin. And the three-pointer goes. And Brent, we hear talk about teams finding their identity. For those that don't know, can you break down what that really means? Well, one of the key things, B.A., is you come out of a training camp in any given year, you're trying to find the right rotation of players and combinations of players that's going to establish what it is that you're capable of doing. And 30 games into the season, that identity can start to show itself. Great coaches in the league will adapt to the things that they're seeing from their rosters to give them the best chance to win. Randall, he's checked in for New York. Brunson comes in for Barrett. Pass to Adebayo. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Josh Hart. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that and bring his best when it matters most? Now here's Brunson. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Lakers. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Hero finds Lowry. The shot's good. Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his first basket of the night. A good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. And he's going for the oop here. And stolen by Adebayo. Struce the pass to Martin. Outside Struess. Hero outside. Pass to Martin. Misses the three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Let's see some of the numbers here for Tyler Hero. He's been playing a larger role in their offense over the past five games. And we see that in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. And the Knicks making a change here. Rose is checked in. 
Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Hero against Rose. Will it go? And Brunson with the lay-in. Brunson's got eight. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. They get it back. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now here's Randall. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Lakers. Let's us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Here's Hero. After the basket by New York. Pass to Struess. The three ball. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hart's got rebound number five here tonight. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. Since hiring Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Toppin. And Miami with a change here, too. Butler's checked in. Find the lane. One shot. And Grant, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven league. Now here's Hero. He's got 14. Five on the clock. And stolen by Brunson. Up and over Lowry. Brunson misses. The Heat have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Adebayo finds Butler. Sinks it from Jimmy distance. Butler. Butler's got points. seven points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Now a timeout called by New York. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. update on all-star voting not much time left only a couple more days to cast your ballot oh it's coming down to the wire some of these players are sweating it out and you look at hero he certainly earned a lot of votes just not enough to start in the east and even if the fans don't vote him in as a starter you figure he's going to be a reserve on the eastern conference all-star team and what a night it'll be we'll keep you updated on the latest results during voting all right, here now, the league's top rebounders over the past month. Bam Adebayo, number one. He's just been incredible on the boards over the last month of the season. He's a guy who plays with such desire. For Miami, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Hero against Rose. Hero outside. Clock at six. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. They get it again. Pass to Butler for three. They get the rebound. Here's Martin. Good. And the assist goes to Adebayo. Adebayo's got three assists tonight. New York has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. In the first half, two minutes. Adebayo against Rose. Hartenstein. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Another assist in the career of D. Rose. Butler finds Hero. The shot no good. New York goes the other way with it. Next up on the schedule, the Clippers. That'll be a home game. And they'll be reaching the back half of a four-game home stretch. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Timeout called. The Heat. Timeout, Miami. For the Knicks, Robinson comes in for Randall, and it's R.J. Barrett in for Hart. 133 left in the second. Here's Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. 
And Jimmy Butler just too athletic on that play. Look at the height. We've got 123 left to play in the first half. They double him with Butler. Hardenstein a screen. Here's Brunson. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Here's Vincent over Brunson. And Miami again with the bucket. A good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Now here's Brunson. They trail by 16. Hardenstein a screen. Shot clock at five. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. You can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Rose against Hero. Pass to Barrett. The three is up. Rebounded by Butler. Butler's got five rebounds tonight. And it's Butler who slams it down. Oh, Jimmy, that was impressive. Oh, they pick off the pass. It could go. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Miami Heat feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here alongside Tibbs and coach you hang your hat on defense. How can you improve on that end of the floor in the second half? Well, we're having a hard time matching up with their threes. We have to do a much better job with our catch and shoot defense. Good luck contesting in the second half. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. Let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the New York Knicks. I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from them. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully, they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. And now, something that gets a lot of publicity. Who could be qualifying for the three-point contest? And with the event right around the corner, time to practice shooting off those racks. Rack City, you know what it is. Got to get them up. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Josh Hart is out there with Jalen Brunson, and it's Barrett in at the three. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. A former first-round pick, Josh Hart, really trying to get some of his mojo back in terms of shooting the ball from distance. He still scores it with consistency, though. And but Josh Hart, Brett, really able to stretch the floor for these guys. Well, playing the two and the three, maybe a little undersized, but took more three-pointers last year, trying to gain some confidence there. And if he's at 35, 36 percent, that's going to open a lot for him and his team. Brunson on the drive. Sinks that one. Jaylen now Brunson. shooting five of ten and looking sharp. And so here is Miami. Butler on the wing. Martin outside. Just four to shoot from behind the arc. And again, the Heat missing. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. 
And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, the Knicks trying to find their way back to the playoffs. Coach Tom Thibodeau said, you can't look backwards and you can't look too far down the road. You just have to take a look at today, lock into what we have to do, and focus on how we can be better. Back to you. No shortcuts to greatness, Allie. Thanks for that. Gets the three ball to go. Well, producing from behind the arc, that is huge stuff from Tyler Hero. The ball's knocked loose. Butler with a steal. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. First personal foul. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Quickly is checked in for New York. Struess, he's checked in for Miami. Now, Jimmy's an interesting personality on a team, so between what the staff demands of him and what he demands of the teammates, that can be a delicate balance. Now here's Barrett, taking command on offense when they need him, putting up 21 a game. The third quarter has not started well, just one of four. Butler can't get it to go. Butler with a steal to the middle. Here's Adebayo. Good, and Damn, Butler Adebayo. gets the assist. Adebayo's got five. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. And here's Lowry from the arc. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Quickly passes to Barrett. On the wing quickly. They need this. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs. And Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. Toppin, he's checked in for Robinson. And Miami with a change here, too. Oladipo's checked in for Martin. alley up top, hammer it home. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. <laughs> and in 2020, the third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. Deard Sevens checked in for Miami. Barrett finds quickly. Offensive board. Back to Barrett. Quickly up top. Pounded by Adebayo. And it's quickly with a miss. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Lowry's gone one of three shooting so far. For three, Randall. Here's Toppin. Toppin in on the layup. Toppin's got four points this quarter. This is really where Toppin can do a great job on a nightly basis of providing that energy. Get on the glass. Struess the pass to Oladipo. Back to Struess. And here's Lowry from the arc. Counted from Lowry. distance. Lowry's got his second bucket on the night. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Randall inside. You're seven on him. Randall, good. Good try on defense, but with a scorer like Randall, it's just not enough. Struce the pass to Adebayo. Off the mark there with a three. And the Knicks shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Outside Barrett. Back to quickly. To the paint. And there's Barrett on the assist by quickly. Barrett's got six. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Hart. Pass to Toppin. It's hauled in by the Heat. Your seven's got five rebounds in the game. Puts up a three. 
Hart pulls it in. And the Knicks shooting just 38% for this game so far. Rebound by the Heat. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Struess finds Oladipo. From beyond the arc, and then some. He's got nine. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. For the Knicks, Hartenstein. He's checked in for Julius Randle. And Rose is subbed in for Hart. Vincent's checked in for Miami. Adebayo. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Bam's size, along with his athleticism, that could be a big problem on the interior. And he sinks the second. A difficult situation for New York. Rose, the pass to quickly. Oladipo against Barrett. With the teardrop. Yep, that one goes. Barrett's got seven points here in the quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's quickly. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Adebayo's gone two of five tonight. Oh, there's the alley! And an emphatic jam on the lob. Topic can hit a three. He can throw down a monster dunk. What can he do in between? Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. And again, the heat missing. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Well, his shots aren't dropping. They haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. And here's the upcoming schedule for the New York Knicks. On Saturday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Sunday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers. One way you could look at this difficult stretch against some of the best in the league, it's a tremendous chance to prove to the league just how good your team is. It could provide a huge statement. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. Brunson comes in for quickly. Here's Barrett. It's rebounded by Yurt Seven. Yurt Seven's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Struess, and there's the drive. Yes, and it's out of bio, picking up the assist. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Rose against Struess. Rose can't connect. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Adebayo, no good. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. It's Hardenstein, high post. Here's seven on him. Shot clock at six. Back to Hardenstein. Using his post moves to get the two points. Hardenstein's got eight points. RJ does not have a problem setting up teammates, and he's getting better at doing that. Here's your seven. Here's Struess. And so it's Miami ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. And they're doing everything they can to put this game away before the final buzzer sounds. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes 
And what separates great playmakers as we know is peripheral vision. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And for Miami, they're shooting about 47%. A nice number. Setting the floor for Miami. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Vincent in at the point. With the 10-footer. And he connects with a jumper. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Pass to Butler. And the Heat. Another three. He's taking what he can get here, has a three in each half. Randall, a screen on Butler. And stolen by Adebayo. And here we go, the Heat fast break. Fires the three. And again, Miami with a triple. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Heat. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. Randall, good. The balance and body control look a little bit better this season, so Randall stays on the ground in this catch-and-shoot situation and looks fluid. Here's Vincent Adebayo. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. It's Barrett on the wing. Over Butler. Barrett can't hit. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Pass to Butler. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. Heath lead. Lowry, the pass to Butler. 65. Fast break, New York. Kicks it out to Barrett. Here's the three. No good there. Now the Heat take it the other way. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Brunson. A quick shot there. It's off target. Adebayo finds Butler. Back to Adebayo. Let's the three fly. Miami, no good that time either. The Knicks have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Outside Barrett. And the rise of the internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams, Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different platforms. You know, I think broadcasters need I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I know we can't afford to, though. <laughs> that might be true. Now here's Barrett. And Butler with the block. Butler with great anticipation there. Just swatting that one away. A big group substitution here for New York. Toppin, he's checked in for Julius Randle. Fournier comes in for Barrett. Quickly is checked in for Hart. And it's McBride in for Brunson. Toppin outside. On the wing quickly. Just five to shoot. There's a screen by Toppin. Quickly finds Toppin. And a strong finish with two hands. And Toppin on top of the world there. The Heat have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. And it's Highsmith missing. 
New York has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Quickly from outside, on target from range. Quickly's gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. Down low, deflects the pass. Robinson with a steal. On the wing, Fournier. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Every Fournier is the longest tenured NBA player out of France. There were 10 French born players during the 21 22 season. And Fournier from France. One of the countries on the rise in the basketball world, Grant. No question. I mean, Canada has become a clear number two to the U.S. Then it's France, Australia, Germany with lots of guys in the league. Evan Fournier, a big reason we'll see more Frenchmen. And the Knicks making a change here. Barrett's checked in. Now here's Lowry. Blocked! Toppin has that kind of reach. 7-2 wingspan. Get that out of here. Robinson. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. There's not a ton of time left, but they're still in the game. Rose has checked in for New York. Second team foul. Mitchell Robinson at the line. Ooh, one shot. Free throw good, Robinson. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Here's Hero. Oh, Robinson with a block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. On defense, the Knicks. It's a 16-point game. Hero with the bucket. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Rose against Lowry. Oh, got a piece of it. Adebayo against Quickly. To the left side wing. Hero outside. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Now Rose. And Brent, one issue that's come up. Star players unavailable for various reasons. But the tension there with teams. Where are we headed with this, you think? I think one of the things, B.A., that's going to be of interest in the next couple years is how much this rest, recovery, and load management is actually impacting the player's performance. There's been a lot of data out there, and it's a lot of predictive data about whether or not a player should play. And the league is really digging in to see whether or not this is actually affecting the players or if they should be playing more minutes. I don't know if it comes down to something financial, but it usually does. So it's Miami now, following the bucket by the Knicks. Ooh, Robinson with a block. Hard against Hero. Outside for Randall. This one for three. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Randall. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Here's Lowry. Banked it in off the glass. Lowry's got five points now in the quarter. And the dribble move by Lowry just setting up that play, toying with the defense, and getting it done. Robinson with it. Picked up by Lowry. Here's Randall. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Now here's Randall. Drops in the layup for two. You wonder if the coaching staff is encouraging these kind of nights and aggressive play for Randall to take over. And it's Lowry penetrating. Out of bio. That's good. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Heat.
When you look at their assist totals, you can see why it was easier for them to score. The ball was really popping tonight. <laughs> and good things seem to happen when you're patient and willing to make the next pass. Their offense has flowed really well. And tonight's win will give them an even 40 on the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them. But it must feel great to take the first meeting. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Bam Adebayo. That's amazing defense from him. Seem to know exactly when to pounce on the passing lanes and predictive steals. This is the range Rose is comfortable from. A point guard likes firing more from 15 feet than 25. Hero, no good. Here's Randall. Oladipo with the rebound. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Lowry, the pass to Hero. The three. Randall pulls down the board. Rose with it. So no problem for Miami as they get the win. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory. They controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Tyler, we know you are never shy. What gives you that confidence to let it fly when the pressure is on? Uh, I like taking the big shot. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, they all trust me, put me in the right spots, and I, sometimes I make a couple big shots here and there. Well, you give them a reason to trust as well. Congratulations. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Bam Adebayo.